Welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. So in today's Vlogmas video, I am going to share some gift ideas with you. And I will be honest, this is not something that I really thought about doing until you guys mentioned it to me and so I quickly wrote it down. So for the past week, I have been rolling down ideas or rolling ideas through my head to come up with nine or ten things that I would gift, things that I have gifted to others will be gifting, things that I have received, or things that I would love to receive as gifts. So I think I should have 10. I think I have 10 written down. I've got 10 that I'm going to share with you. And the range is, uh, it's in no particular order. They're all different price ranges. And maybe these are things that you don't want to gift, but maybe they give you an idea of a different gift. So that is what I'm hoping. So I'm going to share with you these items why I love them so much, and why I think they will be great gifts. So we're going to do this like we've done favorite things, which is coming next week, I think it is. I'm going to casually walk through my house and share these items with you. I think I have all of the items. There's one of them that I'm going to gift that's already wrapped under the tree, but I'm going to pull out the one that I have to give you an example. So since I am filming in my office, we're going to start with the things that are in here. So the first thing here is something that I've been carrying every day with me. And it's because we're having some issues at school. And I don't want to get into it, but it's our internet. We do not have internet at school right now. And y'all know I teach keyboarding. So my kids can't work on their typing program because um, the school has had some issues with the internet. And it's a real long story. So I've been taking this Bluetooth speaker and it is synced up to my phone and I play Christmas music for my students. So this is the JBL Bluetooth speaker. Now I know this one is roughly $150. So that might not be something that you, uh, the amount of money that you want to spend on a present. But I love this one. It comes in. I want to say like six, seven different colors and I got the pink. And the reason I got this one is because I use this in the office like I'm fixing to fill orders. Um, Black Friday orders still. And I will hook this in, connect it to my laptop and I will play Christmas music. I'll put it in the corner of my office. And I like to have something going while I'm working. So I love this one. It came with this case here. I think think it came with this case if it didn't I added this case to it okay so when I travel to school with it I do carry the case with it and let me see exactly I will link everything I talk about today in the description so I kept the little guide in here oh it's a flip five that's the name of it it's the JBL flip five so I really really like it it's been very easy to sync with my phone to sync with my laptop um, I've had no issues at all charging it, and it's a very good, um, very good quality item. The reviews were really good. That's why I purchased this one over other ones was because of the great reviews. I could choose the color, the size, because I do travel with this as well. So that is the first gift idea that I have for you, and I'm going to say a Bluetooth speaker. Not this one. Let's say that you have a limit of $45. Maybe you can't purchase this one as a gift, but maybe seeing Bluetooth speaker, you can go and look one up on Amazon or, you know, Walmart or Best Buy and you can find one. And maybe that's something that you would not have thought of if I did not mention it. So the first thing would be a Bluetooth speaker and mine is the JBL Flip 5. My second thing is something that if you watched yesterday's video over my what's in my bag, if you've not seen that, I'll link that in the card above. You recognize this because this came out of my work tote. And this is just a case I got off of Amazon to contain it. And this is what I'm going to say is number two. And it is a power bank. Now this is a smaller one. I can tell you, you can get power banks in all different sizes. I like this size. I will link this one in the description. I will tell you I have one that's two sizes um, as big as this. It's like double this size. 
and yes it can charge more times it holds more i don't know what do you call it charging ability i guess is what we're gonna say but it's just way too big and it's way too heavy it is an anchor that one is too but i like this one i feel like it's the perfect size it is able to charge a nice amount of times and i will tell you that i am gifting these for christmas so this now comes in not only black but i think white blue and red so i'm telling you it's a good gift idea because i'm giving them and as i said yesterday this this is the cord that charges it up and then i've got the cord for my phone in this little pouch here so that is my second gift idea a power bank that might be a gift that somebody may not think that they need or something they would never thought of but they have really loved it so this is definitely something that i think people would love and i did gift these to my i think my mom and my mother-in-law for christmas last year so i think i'm going to sit right here to share a few things instead of um going to different areas i'll pull some of the areas in here since the lighting is really good now the third thing is actually not what you're seeing right now this is a stony clover lane large pouch in the noir noir color with um letters on the front patches in bubblegum peach lemon avocado periwinkle and grape this is not what i'm talking about it is what is inside and the reason i have this here is i want to show y'all and prove that this literally goes everywhere with me so when i'm not traveling this sits on a shelf in my office and it already has things in it so when i pull this and put all my tech items in there i already have some of the things and they're ready to go because i know they're going to go with me and some of y'all may know what i'm about to pull out because i want to say this is like the third time i've mentioned this on a gift video and it is a travel extension cord i love this thing i have i want to say three of them right now I have one that stays in here for travel and then I loved it so much that I got one I use it in my bedroom and then I have one floating around in here somewhere this is something I think people will not think about but it is so beneficial because how many times have you gone to a hotel room and they have like two outlets and not everybody in the room has a spot to charge their cell phones or their iPads or their watches or plug in their laptop. And that is why I travel with this every time I go somewhere. It doesn't matter if I'm going to a family's house, if I'm going on a vacation, if I have a trip for the kids, this is always with me. And what was awesome is when we went to my sister's for Thanksgiving, my mom pulled hers out of her luggage and i was like oh you actually used the one that i gave you last year so she said that every time she travels somewhere she takes it with her so that made me happy so i gave her a gift that she loves and she actually uses so this is something that somebody may be like why are you gifting me an extension cord but it has been so beneficial you guys so beneficial to me and i take it everywhere just like i told you it stays in here and i'm always using it this is like the first thing that's going to go with me on a trip and i have used it every single trip i have taken so number three is a travel extension cord now this is one from anchor so i will, i don't know if this exact one is available we got my mom a smaller one so i will have one or two linked in the description below now i'm going to move to some other rooms to share some things with you but i wanted to mention this because you might notice that some of these things that i mentioned today on this gift video will also make my 2022 favorite things because a lot of times i will gift things that i love so that's why it's on the gift video and also the favorite things so don't be shocked when you see some of these show up on that video next week now we're moving to the kitchen and y'all i just came back from school i just got off work just dropped my stuff off on the counter and this is what the counter looks like right now i'm telling you real life this is what my kitchen looks like right now and um 
I was going to try to not show it, but then I thought, you know what? Y'all need to know that this is what my house looks like right now. A lot of times I don't have enough time during the week to tackle everything. So th some things go, not, they are not perfect during the week. And then on the weekends is when we do the laundry and get everything picked up and put away. So I wanted to mention that. Down here is kind of what I'm gonna talk about next. So for the past year, my husband and I have been putting ice in this ice chest right here, okay? An, an old Kansas City Chiefs cooler. Because our ice maker, look at him. You know what he's wanting? He's wanting me to go to the pantry. He's got food in his bowl in the pantry, but he's such a baby that he wants somebody to stand in there with him while he eats. That is seriously what Ace is doing. So, we have been using this. He will take this to the indoor, the football indoor, and he will fill it up with their ice machine with ice. Okay? That is what we use. So, it sits in the kitchen all the time. So, my sister-in-law saw this and decided to gift him for his birthday an ice maker. So, we've just had this for the last couple of days, and he's got this bowl over here. How many of y'all have these vintage, I'm going to say vintage Pyrex bowls? So, these were my grandmother's. I have some that are my grandmother's and some that are my husband's grandmother's. And it's really odd that both of them had the same pattern. And the pieces that my grandmother did not have, my mother-in-law had, that were um, my husband's grandmother's. So, I have an entire set of this. I don't, I'm sure somebody can tell me this pattern name. So he has that sitting here because he's taking the ice in here and putting it in the bowl and then moving it to the actual spot in the freezer so this will continue to put ice in or produce ice. So this is the Frigidaire ice maker and I want to say it was like 150. I will link it in the description below and I love it. So we're just on week one of using it and I wanted to talk about it as a gift because this is something that I would have never thought about wanting or asking somebody to purchase me and she decided to give that to Nathan and me I guess. <laughs> So she got, gave it to, my sister-in-law gave it to my husband for his birthday, which was at the beginning of the week. And I get to benefit from it as well. So an ice maker. And I know you guys, I know a lot of people on social media, especially when they had Amazon Prime Day. I know a lot of people were promoting the one that makes the Sonic ice, but it was like 400 and something dollars on sale. I want to say it was almost $600 normally. I don't have that in my budget. So this one is roughly 150. There's how much ice is in there. So, and it continuously makes ice when it notices that this tray is getting low or empty. So I wanted to mention that. I feel like that's more along my price range of a gift. So an ice maker, and this one is from Frigidaire. So this is one that I will link in the description below. And then let's just wheel on over here to this situation we got going on here that you might be going, why do you have two air fryers? So y'all have seen the back one, the black one in the back. This one is a new one here. So this is also something I gifted my sister-in-law this same air fryer for her birthday this month. So how I ended up with one is my sister-in-law does not live here. We thought she was coming in for her birthday and she got sick. So I had her air fryer, this one here, to gift to her. And then I didn't know when she was gonna be back. So I'm like, that's gonna cost a lot to ship. We've talked about getting a second air fryer. So I kept hers and then we ordered her another one and had that shipped. And you can probably hear the ice maker right now. So we have to, because I have to eat gluten-free and it takes major cleaning of this one back here for me to be able to eat out of it. And I've had a situation where it was not cleaned very well and I had two weeks worth of symptoms. 
and y'all my symptoms can change it doesn't sometimes it's like arthritis type symptoms my joints are hurting sometimes it's my stomach sometimes i get brain fog sometimes i break out in a rash so my husband has been saying for months that we needed to get one that was strictly for me that they didn't use for non-gluten items so that's how we ended up with this second one so i don't know this one is available at walmart it is farberware and we gifted this one in the back to my mother-in-law last year and i want to say that we had to go in store to purchase it um, i want to say it was fifty dollars this one was on sale for 55 normally i think 60. so i have gifted both of these air fryers to my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and then i have both of them so as you see i not only <laughs> gift these items but i use them as well so my fifth gift idea would be an air fryer and y'all there are so many different ones so many different sizes you have to choose what is right for you and your home but let me give you one word of caution i've seen a lot of people say that these can cause fires in their home i don't know if they can or not but they recommend that you keep them unplugged from the wall so when we are not using them i will unplug them so that's why they are not plugged in right now because we are not using them. Okay, so we're going to talk about all three of these. So these tumblers, the metal tumblers, I love. So for me, these are what I drink out of every morning. One of these three. So all of the other mugs that you've ever seen in a video, I have not been using. So these are the three that I have had in rotation this entire school year. And this one has a lid but look all the lids fit have you ever noticed that it doesn't matter what brand it is the lid if it's one size usually fits so that does have a lid so these two here are the swig life brand they are a little bit more expensive okay depending on how much of a gift that you want to give to somebody but i don't like these any more than i like this one this is i got this from amazon it is the iron flask brand and is it 16 ounces so this is a 16 ounce here and y'all the thing about these is they have them in tons of different colors if you want a solid one if you want a different pattern tons of different ones so this is a 16 ounce this one here is i hope there's nothing in okay there's not i think this one is clean sometimes i just rinse them out and send them over there i want to say this one's a uh, it might be 16 ounces as well it might be a little bit wider if not it's 14 it's either 14 or 16. so these make great gifts for somebody that likes coffee like me so these are the swig life brand and y'all they don't only come in these sizes either one of these brands come in tons of different sizes for instance i did this like little mystery thing to where you could pay like 15 dollars and they'd give you a mystery one this is the one that they gave me this is i don't know what they call this one i haven't used it yet 14 ounce cup so i guess that is 16 ounces so as you see there's a ton of them they've got taller ones with handles they've got skinny ones water bottles both brands so i will link both brands in the description below so you've got the squig tumblers or the iron flask and this can be purchased on amazon i'm not sure where else you can purchase it but these three have been on rotation every single morning in my house the entire school year so gift idea number seven i don't have it with me i have one in the closet but y'all it's in my linen closet i want to say it's at the very top of the linen closet and i don't want to bring it down and then other things fall down y'all know how it's go how it goes but it is the gift one of the gifts that i'm gifting my mother-in-law this year and it is an electric throw so i am going to pop a picture in right here i think i paid 40 dollars for it it is a sunbeam brand off of amazon so it's a really funny story how this idea came to my head it really was brought to me by my mom so my mom calls me and tells me that she cannot find her electric throw and it's red and white and it's plaid and she has no idea where this throw is she can't find it so then my sister goes and visits her um the week of thanksgiving and um 
she finds another throw. So she said, I thought my throw was red and white and actually it was this different color. Well, come to find out the electric throw that she was talking about is actually in Derek's room. So she had given it to Derek because she had two and she had another one. So that is where the idea came from is my mom calling me, asking me about an electric throw and saying she could not find hers. And it was just a light bulb moment. And I was like, you know what? That would be a great gift for my mother-in-law. Something that you would not think to buy yourself, but would be very beneficial, especially this time of year. And I don't know where y'all live, but we keep getting these predictions about all of the snow we're going to be getting in the winter. And we live in Arkansas. We don't really get a lot of snow. We might get one good snow if we are lucky. I don't think we got one really at all last year. The year before last, we did. So when they say snow already and predicting it, we're already going, okay, what things do we need to have? Because y'all, we're not prepared down here. So if you live in the South, you know our buses are not made to travel in snow. We are not made to travel in snow. We don't know how to travel in snow. So when she said electric blanket, I thought, that's a great gift. So I did check with my mother-in-law and she did not have one. So that is what one of the gifts is going to be for her this year. So if you don't have an electric throw or you know somebody that doesn't have one and you're looking for a gift idea, that is a great one. And they come in many different colors. For gift idea number eight, we're taking it to my bed. And not the actual bed. Y'all know if you watch the Clean With Me Friday, I need a new mattress. We're going to talk about this right here. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because I didn't think I would ever own one of these. I went to a cheer trip for Kate in April to um, Orange Beach. And they have a Vera Bradley outlet. And at that point, they didn't have a Vera Bradley actual outlet. They had a pop-up because their building was messed up and all of this. And they had a little pop-up shop. And this is a Vera Bradley oversized throw. So I have had the Vera Bradley throws for years, but have never had an oversized throw. So this one was on sale, I wanna say for $30. I was not going to get it. Let me see if it says down here. I don't know if it said what like size. Okay, I know the original ones are like 50 by 60. So I'm 5'8", y'all, and this can cover my entire body up comfortably. So I'm not having to like, you know, get in the fetal position to have <laughs> my blanket covering me. So this is something that I have loved for 2022. Did not think I was going to. Kate literally saw me put it back, walked over there, grabbed it from the shelf and said, I think you need to get this. And she rarely ever does that. So I loved the print and I thought, okay, I'll get it. I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't need to spend the money on this. But I'm like, Kate said I need to get it. So I did, and I've loved it. So I've slept with this every day. This and that there. Don't ask. It's very old. I've had it for 14 years. My husband, husband gifted it to me. Oh, the tag, you can't even read it. it. I think it came from either um, Sportsman's Guide, I think. They don't sell it anymore because I tried to get a second one and they don't have it. So I sleep with that and this every single night. So if you're looking for a gift idea, a blanket is always a great gift idea. I feel like you can't have too many blankets because they're not all created equal. And some of them can be used for different things. Some of them are for hot weather, some are for cold weather, some are for traveling. So a blanket is always a good gift idea, I feel like. And I absolutely love this one. This is the Vera Bradley Oversized Throw. So for the last two gift ideas, they're basically the same thing, but they are two different brands. So I wanted to do them separately, okay? So for number eight, we're gonna start with the Erin Condren packing cubes. You guys, I have gifted packing cubes. My sisters received packing cubes. My kids have gotten packing cubes. I love packing cubes. It makes traveling so much easier. And I have talked about them numerous times in videos. And I just think they're great gifts. Especially if you have somebody that travels a lot. 
I want to say I've gifted them to my sister-in-law as well because she is in, she was, she's retired military, so she used to travel all the time. So I am bringing you two different ones from Erin Conjure and two different prints. And the reason I'm doing these two brands is because I think they're cute. They are not pricey. They're in a good price range and they are high quality. Okay, so the Leopard is the newest one. So I have done, if you watch my video Friday, my Clean With Me and Organize With Me, I mentioned these. This is the newest print. And then you've got the floral. And then there's one other one as well I do not have. So let me sit this camera up. So when I have them both laid out differently or packaged differently. So it comes with a set of three. So you've got the large one. It's pretty stinking large. Okay, so you've got the large one. You have a medium one. Okay. And then you have a flat one. Okay, so they come with three. So you guys, and here's the thing, you may want to get somebody a simple packing cube set. You know, if you've never used packing cubes before, you don't really know which ones you need, what size and all of that. So this is just three pieces, which is a good starter set. So I have it in the leopard, and then I have it in, then I have it in the floral, and I cannot remember the name of this floral. It might be on the inside. We'll see. Oh, let's see if it says, I bet it says flora. It is flora. So actually, I don't even have the big one out, so here's the big one. Excuse my son. So this is the big one. Okay. Then you've got the medium sized one. And then you have the flat one. Flat one here, if you're wondering what this would be good for. Socks, underwear, I'm thinking that was this that would be good for that. Okay, so those are the two from Erin Condren. So that is number eight. I would say the Erin Condren packing cubes. So if you have somebody that likes pinks and things and flowers, the flora would be for them. If you have somebody that doesn't like flowers, maybe the leopard would be for them. Okay, so that is number eight. And then number nine is the packing cube set from Marley Lily. So this is a personalized set. You can get it without the monogram on the front or you can get it monogrammed. To me, I would get the monogram. I don't think it's any more money to get the monogram. And look, very high quality monogram. This is stitched, okay? It's not the little sticker that goes on the top. It is stitched on. So I'm gonna put the camera down and we're gonna go over this set. So this is a more detailed set. So there are more items in this packing cube set. Okay, so this is the large one here, okay? And it has a handle on the top. And y'all, this is not the only print they have. This is the print I got. Several that I almost got, but I decided to go with this one. So you have a small flat. Okay. You have a large flat. Okay. Then you have this little square flat. So you've got three flats here. You've got a large you got a medium and then you got a small. So three flat pouches. Then you have the small here. Let me open it up. Let me see. I mean, look how wide it is when you pop this out. This also has a handle. And you guys, I can tell you too, like this size is really good. I've used this size. I want to say I used the Erin Condren one that's this size in my carry-on backpack at the airport. So I like to, if I'm flying, and y'all don't fly very often, but when I have flown, I like to have a change of clothes with me in case they lose my luggage. So I would have extra panties, an extra set of clothes, extra socks in this size packing cube, and I'd slide it in my backpack as my carry-on. Okay, then you have a medium size one here, and y'all, this fits so much. Look how wide that is. Okay, that's a medium one, and then you have the large one that is monogrammed. So that is six pieces in this set. So you have the large one, you have the medium, you have the small, 
And then you have the three sizes of the flat pouches, the large, the medium, and the small. So this is another amazing set in my opinion. Just depends on if you want it more pieces, if you want it monogrammed, or if you would prefer to have one that's not monogrammed and only three pieces. I want to say this, you know what, they may be about the same price to be honest. So I'm going to say they are about the same price. So that is the tenth and final gift idea for 2022. So that is all for my 10 gift ideas for 2022. I will leave links to everything in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed all of the things that I've shared with you this year. And in the comments below, I would love for you to share with us some of your top gift ideas. I'm always looking for new things to give people for birthdays and holidays and everything in between. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the advent calendar opening for day six. Okay, I think this is going to work out. I was going to, I'm trying to do this. So I think this is going to work out. I'm trying to do this without getting my big tripod out. So I'm having to prop my camera up on some boxes. But it's going to work, I think. So, day six. And we're saying day six for the advent because I'm sharing this video on December 6th. Um even though it's vlogmas day four y'all know the drill so for day six we're going to start with the happy socks i hope they're better than those cow ones i got last time so number six is over here so number six and i keep almost ripping the box i'm gonna be real careful oh and that one okay okay this is not easy look at that it didn't even rip good okay Number six. Oh, these are cute. Oh, those are so cute. So they're black, I think. Dark green and red. Those are cute. I like those. A lot better than those cow socks. Okay, so day six. And excuse Derek. He does not know I'm filming right now. Day six of the marshmallow. Um, let's try this. Ooh, is this banana? Pineapple. Okay, I was hoping for a banana. Man, look how colorful that is. So we'll see if I like that. I will tell you, peaches and cream was very good. Um, I haven't done the pumpkin spice yet. The bubble gum and sour apple, I will tell you, did not have much of a taste. One of them tastes like straight dye. So we'll see. So peaches and cream was really good. The other two really didn't have much of a flavor. So we'll try pineapple too. And now for... Cricket Miss. 19 days till Christmas. Open on December 6th. So remember everything for this goes together. So these are transparent sticky notes. Well how neat is that? Can't wait to try those. So I'm going to share everything at the very end to share with you how everything looks together. So I like those. I've never seen those before. Okay. So for day six, I got the translucent sticky notes or transparent, transparent, excuse me, transparent sticky notes, the pineapple marshmallow and the a geometric shape happy socks. I'm not sure. So that is all for Vlogmas day four and advent calendar opening day six.